The earliest memory I have of my grandfather is the cover of the book written about him. There's a picture of a man falling down a flight of stairs. The title of the book, The Killing of the Imam. In 1969, apartheid witnessed one of its first Muslim martyrs. The memorial was a simple man with simple ideas, but very revolutionary. He became a hero in the eyes of the youth of the day. He was the type of man, he won't be able to shoot you with a gun. He would instill in you the rights that you have against those that oppress you. He's more powerful than a gun. Taking Islam to the dispossessed was part of Imam Harun's mission. 15 million people in this country had no hope. People who are social nobodies to them Islam somehow meant hope. And this was Imam Harun's vision. To make them aware of the evils under which we are living, we did not have an easy task and he did not have an easy time. There was a conspiracy with regards to rather being safe and never being locked up and also being looked after. We are going to demand that the Imam be released. We will stand there. We will not leave. We will fast until we die. That is what they should have done. They did nothing. Sweet, Fanny, nothing. In the fight for freedom, Imam Abdullah Harun paid the greatest price. He always preached that Islam was and is a way of living. It was and is a way of dying. This is the story of his struggle. This is the story of his legacy.